Hey there, welcome to the National Post Speakeasy. I'm Marie Danielle Smith. I'm here with John Iveson at the Metropolitan in Ottawa. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the slump that Trudeau has seen since he went on this trip to India. What do you make of these kind of lower polling numbers that we're starting to see? Well, it may well be a, you know, a momentary blip or it may be a sign of a longer term trend. It certainly, it was a, uh, the, the poll that, that intrigued me was Abacus data last week. Uh, it showed that Liberals at 36%, Conservatives at 33 NDP at 18 mm -hmm. That was the lowest they'd had the Liberals since the 2015 election. More importantly, I think, is that some of the trends that were there, and the, the big one was the impressions of Justin Trudeau. Mm. You know, his popularity has gone from about 59% positive in the middle of 2016, it's gone down, down to 39%. At the same time, his negatives have gone from 22% up to 38%, so it's almost a wash now, the number of people who think mm. positively and negatively. And, you know, not so long ago, that gap was 37 percentage points. So, uh, I mean, what do you make of it? I mean, it's, it's, is, it, is it going to be ephemeral or is it longer term? Well, I think some of these things are cumulative, right? I mean, if we, if we look at this, this sort of slump coming right after the India trip, yeah. uh, Trudeau has had several international appearances in the last few months that haven't gone exactly as planned, mm -hmm. uh, where a lot of people have said that he kind of embarrassed himself. So I think that this kind of takes a toll after a while. Right. So there might be, there might be some sort of that, cumulative effect there. That does seem to be the trigger point, the India trip, because it was straight after that that people, and particularly uh, the impression of him on the international stage was mm -hmm. Uh, fell dramatically, but I think there are there are uh, deeper seated uh, things going on here. I mean, mm -hmm. this was a, a movement, an activist movement, um, that inevitably, as you you govern, you lose some of those people because you make decisions they don't like, pipelines, electoral reform. But I think even beyond that, there is something going on here. And, and Bruce Anderson at Abacus, the chairman at Abacus, uh, I spoke to him, and uh, he's he says more research needs to be done. But he he suggests there is a tension there, a frustration among voters who find they're paying too much for housing, for mm. rent, mortgages, they can't afford to do other things, and they don't see this government helping them. They see all these things on gender, on indigenous people, right. on the environment, but it doesn't really affect them. So they worry he's not taking them seriously and their real issues seriously. Yeah, I, and, and I remember reading about the Labour government in Britain where they went through the same thing, where they got elected on a sort of fairness for the middle class, mm -hmm. where they provided tax help to the middle class, and then they kind of drifted to something else that was fairness, to women, to whatever other cause, and they lost that core group of voters. Now, they, they got re-elected, but it, it takes a long time to, uh, to lose a majority government like mm -hmm, that. But mm -hmm. I do think that the, the Liberals are in danger of, of drifting a little bit. They've uh, secured this exemption from the steel tariffs that uh, have come down in the United States. Do you think that that might sort of shift things a little bit? Well, I think people, a lot of people, I wrote that today and I, su I suggested, yeah, maybe th I think they did very well there. It was a very mm -hmm. well executed strategy to get close to Trump and, and ingratiate themselves with Trump, not just true to himself, but, but ministers across the board. And I think it worked for them. I really do think that they talked him, uh, talked him around. Other people suggest this was Trump's plan all along. And so they give Trudeau no credit. Right. But I do think that, um, that you know, it's far too early to suggest that this is a, a, a sort of terminal thing that's going mm. to see off this Liberal government. Because the one crucial point was that neither Jagmeet Singh or Andrew Scheer's numbers went up. Right. Well, we'll see if those kinds of strategies work with uh, NAFTA, which we continue to watch. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us on the Speakeasy. We'll see you next time.